I don't think that I'll ever see my money again. Unless Alia Stimson says she is just one of hundreds of investors in court looking for answers and that she's out $300,000. Due to health reasons at work, uh, I don't qualify for a maternity leave and was looking for uh, alternative ways to kind of support my growing family. She says she invested in a company called My Mortgage Auction Corp based on Vancouver Island and that its owner, Greg Martel, promised high returns and said the money was being used for short-term real estate investments. You, you will 100% get back, pay back. But in recent months, people say they couldn't get their money out. More than $200 million allegedly missing. The company placed into receivership. In a recent statement to CBC News, Martel says the company has the ability to enable all investors to recoup their investments and denies it's a Ponzi scheme. The firm overseeing the receivership says the company's financial statements say it had $234 million in assets, but it's only been able to locate one bank account with less than $300. The lawyer for one of the investors says Martel's whereabouts are unknown. There has been a lack of cooperation in the context of uh, providing information to the court, uh, pursuant to court orders, and also providing inf information to investors as to where their money went. It is a classic example of, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. This Vancouver investment advisor has been following the case and says what he has heard is shocking. It's not good enough if their friends are making money and you know they want to get in on it. They should really be doing more due diligence before they, they do anything. The judge has now given the receiver power to get more information about what happened to the millions of dollars and given Martel a deadline of May 26th to comply. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Vancouver.